article will hand over to Ndibu, PDP. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. If you're joining us for the first time, kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you all for always coming out here and God bless you all. On today's news, Atiku will hand over to Ndibu, PDP. The People's Democratic Party has said that the only sure way for the Ndibu to attain the country's presidency is for them to support the 2023 presidential aspirant of Alaji Atiku Abubakar. The party said that the former vice president has proved to the Southeast people that he can be trusted, adding that no other tribe in Nigeria has trusted the Ndibu and made them direct partners in progress than Atiku. The PDP Deputy Director of Media and Publicity, Presidential Management Committee, Mr. Uloka Chibuke, stated this in a statement made available to the journalists in Oka on Tuesday. According to Chibike, Ndibo have a duty to support Atiku in the 2023 presidential elections because he has pledged to restructure Nigeria to favor and accommodate the Southeast and make sure that his successor, uh, his successor comes from the region. He said... We have more to gain from an alliance with the North than any other region in the country. Atiku has proven to the Igbo man that he can be trusted. No other tribe in Nigeria has trusted the Igbo man and made them direct partners in progress, except Atiku. In 2007, against the uproar, he chose an Igbo from Anambra State in the person of Senator Ben Ndi Obi to be his running mate. Despite the animosity of many, he chose Mr. Peter Obi as his running mate in 2019 to prove his relationship with Ndibo. Again, despite Ohaneze's ban on the Igbo politicians, accepting the vice presidency in 2023, Atiku chose another Igbo man as his running mate in 2023, promising to hand over power to Ndibo after his term. Atiku has pledged to restructure Nigeria to favor and accommodate Ndibo and make sure that his, success, his successor is from the region. This is not just a promise. He has repeatedly shown that his words is his bond. While others continue to treat Igbo with leprous fingers, Atiku has promised to treat us with respect. My wonderful people, this promise that Atiku has made to us is something that uh, we really need to look into. You know, most of these politicians will come out and make sweet, sweet promise to us just to make sure that we 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 vote them in the in the in the in the coming elections. And as we all know, Atiku has chosen the Delta State uh, Governor, uh, Governor Ifan Yokowa, to be his uh, running mate as the vice presidential candidate of the 2023 elections under the People's Democratic Party. And now, Atiku has pledged to restructure Nigeria to make sure that uh, he will accommodate the Ndibo and make sure that, you know, the Ndibo will take over after his term. How true do you think his statement is? However, Nigerians have reacted to this. We all want the Igbo to lead this time. Equity and justice necessitate this. But Ndibo should gather themselves together and support OB. Many people from other tribes have already been voicing support for OB, but Igbo's lack of unity in pursuing this cause might hamper OB's chances. All eastern states should announce OB as their sole candidate. 
Mm. Enough of this insults. Which one is you will restructure Nigeria to accommodate Ndibu? Seven years ago, PMB promised to hand over to Ndibu. And now, Atiku is repeating same. Let me ask, is this the prank of your manifesto? Telling Nigerians what you will do to change the narratives in the land and leave Ndibu out of it. Nigerian belongs to everybody. Another lies and deception. Atiku will hand over to a Nottana, maybe from another party. It is high time you people should stop playing with Ndibo in this country. Greedy politicians. Can you imagine the country we find ourselves in? A stranger is telling uh, citizens he will give him power to rule his own house. Hmm. The 19, uh, the 1914 is only for Yoruba, Hausa, and Igbo. No Fulani among them. But today, Fulani is in control. Everything that belongs to, to the real owner of the country and everything that belongs to the real owner of the country. If Atiku can't allow Igbo this time, his fellow Nottana is leaving. Is it when he will be living in eight years, he would remember Ndibo? If he truly cares, he should step aside now and do the needful. Hmm, this is the greatest insult of the season. Ndibo has turned second-class citizens in their own native and father's land. God forbid. Hmm. So Atiku is the one to decide when an Igbo man should be a president of Nigeria. This country is for all of us, and we all have the sole right to become a president of this country so long we meet the constitutional requirements at any point in time. And besides, according to the gentleman agreement, presidential position is to the south this time. So Atiku should hold his peace till after eight years. Unrealistic political submission by PDP. Atiku and Tinibu are not fit to rule Nigeria at this crucial period in our country. Obidenta has all qualifications to be a Nigerian president come 2023. Hmm, my people. We all know that these politicians can come up with anything just to make sure that they be in power. They can make fake promises to people. How can uh, Atiku come over and said he will hand over power to, to the Ndibo? If he really cares about the Ndibo, he should try and at least step down for Pitobi to become president of the country. And as we all know, the power is supposed to come down to the, to the southeast. But no, the power is being dragged by both with people in the north. And here we have an article telling us he will hand over to, to, the, to the south. Well, I don't really believe these politicians. And I think they will make sure that they say anything just to have their way and play with the minds of the people in the country. My people, how do you see this issue? Do you really think Atiku will keep to his promise by handling over power to the South? Or do you think he's just saying this just to make sure he's, he swingles his way in? I'm dropping it here, guys. Can you share your thoughts below the comment section? Thank you.